Hi everybody! In this month's short video I will be covering shading. Um, it is the most commonly asked question um, that I get. How do you do shading in glass engraving? And the answer is actually very simple. The rougher the surface the whiter it's going to be, it catches that light. So if you've used a, a, a rough stone or a rough diamond, it is going to be white. And the smoother it is, the more light will pass through. And therefore, if you start to smooth out the engraving using stones and rubbers, the more light will pass through and therefore the darker it will be, right through to clear glass again, which will appear to be black. And the reason it will appear to be black is because if you are displaying it in the most, um, in the best, with the best background and the best lighting, the dark background is going to be your friend and the engraving is going to show up best. And that clear glass, anything clear is going to look black. Most engravers, and this is what I encourage, engrave so that when it has the dark ground and background, the image appears a positive image. If you were to display your, your engraving against a white background, it will be the complete opposite, if you can see it at all. And so we don't want that. Um, unless that's, you know, some, some engravers actually specifically work like that. Um, but uh, certainly in my case, I prefer to work positively so that you would it, just about any way you look at it, apart from that very, very white background, you are going to see a positive image. Um, and even if it is on a windowsill with a garden in the background and natural light coming through the window, it's going to show up beautifully. So here I have a little sample glass. It's very, very heavy lead crystal, very old, and it's it's lovely to work on and I've engraved some little flowers on it and here you will see oops I can get my act together here there's some completed little flowers now <laughs> they're really really pretty this is my favorite little fantasy flower and there's so much you can do with it um, now here you see a flower which I've just started, a couple of flowers I've just started. I've used a diamond, burr, um, which is quite rough and that means that the surface is going to be roughed up and the light has been caught in it and it's nice and white. In the middle you will see a dark area, now that is still clear glass and that still appears black. However, when I am engraving and most professional engravers like this one here you can see in the middle even the darkest area is engraved glass otherwise it appears to have a hole in it and you don't want that unless you're engraving a, a, a mask or something that's got to have a hole in the middle where the eyes are but um, the flowers are solid they don't have a hole in the middle and therefore you want the whole surface to be engraved and so what has happened here I have engraved it and polished it back to uh, the degree that I want it to to appear as dark as I want it to appear you will see in the middle you should be able to see that little fun bit in the middle is like what I call a jewel it's um, I started by engraving quite deep and then polishing it out so that you end up with uh, a little what looks like it's it's sticking out but of course with the illusion of glass engraving it's actually engraved relatively deep okay so this one I will demonstrate um, at the top we can see I've started actually at the bottom there where I've started to do a half tone in fact um, and I will demonstrate the, what I do with the diamond once we get to the stage Okay. Right, so got the glass in the holder. Nice bit of black cloth behind it. Good bit of lighting up the top and behind. And I've got here a 
a green stone which is slightly softer. There are many stones um, and uh, diamonds that are smoother than a rough stone and a rough diamond. So with this stone I'm going to fill in that area that you see is, whoops, my drill's freaking out here. I've got my mask on. I'm going to put this on, hang on. Oh. Got the dust extractor on, but I have got a mask, so if you haven't got a dust extractor, make sure you've got a mask. You'll be able to see the dust flying up. Now you can see what I'm doing here. Already it's a half tone because it's a nice smoothish stone and I'm just pulling from the middle outwards. And I will demonstrate the middle as well, where, um, as I say, I have gone quite deep in the middle, so it already, it appears white. However, to simply demonstrate what happens when you start to smooth it out, this is a little white Arkansas. It's quite a smooth stone. And I'm just going very lightly over the top of that. Already you can see that it's much darker. Okay. Now I've got my little brown rubber. I'm going to take that into the middle. And you can already see much, much darker. And I hope that we can see it's got depth. I now have a soft grey rubber. It's lovely and soft. And I'm now going to pull that out pretty much the same as I did the stone, but this time mainly in the middle. You can bring it up the sides. Now you can see the difference between that one and this one where you can see I've still, that was the very beginnings of that. And what this darkness also lends itself for is some contrast. How about we add, using a little diamond burr, these tiny, tiny little dots little stamens and things like that. Now I'm working dry, you can work wet. But of course now, these are going to show up really well because 
a dark background. The lovely thing about glass engraving is the contrast. The light against dark, dark against light. It's lovely. Right, and I think finally for this little demo, I'm just going to add um, one last little thing, if this is sharp enough. I think it is. Little tiny tiny rat's tail This is your own creation, it doesn't matter, unless you're doing a, a botanical study, it doesn't matter. So I'm sure we will cover I'm sure we will cover shading again in the future. Or it comes into play on so many subjects, of course. But in the meantime, that is the most basic demonstration of shading. Have fun with it.